Hi and welcome to Ready Boss TV. My name is T King. If this is the first time on the channel. Please check it out. Subscribe. We have um, lots of videos on finance, success, and investments. Today we're going to be looking at how to make money with Bitcoin. Basically, we're looking at strategies that can help you make money with Bitcoin. Um, we're going to start with um, the price from Coin Market Cap. So if you don't have Coin Market Cap, you can kind of like google that and then get that set up so what i also speak on is we have other platforms you can trade from some other exchanges you can trade from you can trade from binance luno kraken ftx you take your pick basically we're, gonna, we're not going to be showing any live trading today we're going to just be showing you how you can make money with bitcoin at any point in time so we're going to just go straight to the market and see what's happening now in the market let's just close these windows so basically right now on coin gecko which is a different um price hub bitcoin is trading at nineteen thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars and we have coin market cap close to there's a difference in price but just ten dollars so no arbitrage no real arbitrage today let's go into it so basically uh what we're going to be looking at today is three different kind of strategies for the day trader for the swing trader and for the holder so let me just pull up an excel sheet to show you kind of what what we're going to be discussing today just a minute so today i'm going to show you basically what this video is going to be about so this video is going to basically be about how to trade as a day trader at any point in time how to trade as a swing trader at any point in time what's going to happen and same thing as a holder basically so now we're going to look at day trading let's go back to our chart just a minute so we're going to look at the prices of bitcoin and then kind of like do an analysis to see where we can get into the market and where we should get out of the market so today bitcoin is trading around 19,000. so for the day trader you're going to want to have like a you, you're going to want to have like a terminal like orox where you can check the price movement for the day today it shows that bitcoin traded between 18,900 and then 19,464 so as a day trader if i want to get in here i'll most likely set up a buy order around 18,500 so let's go back to our excel sheet so as a day trader i'll most likely set my buy order that's depend on how much i have so today we're going to be looking at investing a thousand dollars well i mean depends on how much you have that's why our excel sheet kind of like takes into consideration the different categories of investors so depends on how much you have depends on how much you want to invest it's best to get around 18,000 mark maybe 17,000 depends on how how much you have and your risk appetite as well so looking at the sheet now for different investors at different levels for day trading i'll say today i'm applying to invest a thousand dollars today so i'll say i'll get in around 18,400 what we saw was 18,900 as um the, the early the lowest price for today I would set up a buy order at 18,400 and I'll set my sell order at 9,400. Now, this movement is quite small, but it's very, very realistic. Most likely, at some point today, Bitcoin is going to drop to 18,400, so I have to be patient. What that gives me is going to it's going to give me a 5% profit for today. And a 5% profit is good, regardless of what category of investor you are. So, a micro investor at 5% is going to get... It's going to get a small amount of money because it's, it's not really investing a little, but it's going to get about 50 cents. Uh, a small investor is going to get like five, $5. Then it keeps going up from there. The impact really shows up with $50,000 for just this day trade. $50,000 a day multiplied by maybe 20 days in a year. Uh, 20 days in a month is going to give you about close to close to close to a hundred thousand, close to a million rather, close to a million. So for someone investing a thousand dollars, which is what we are planning on investing today um you're going to be getting you're going to be getting around 54 dollars for this trade 54 dollars a day 
like I said, 20, 20 days again is going to give you a thousand dollars return. So trading like this today is going to be good. Set your buy order around eighteen thousand four hundred. Your sell order around nineteen thousand four hundred. Now let's go to swing trade. We've seen the levels of Bitcoin already. Bitcoin is trading between eighteen thousand nine hundred and nineteen thousand four hundred. So for swing trading, I like to give it like a week. I like to set like a week week target. So what I do is I set like a week target for my sale, but I buy at any time. I set my buy order at any point in time. So when I buy, what what I will do is I will hold and wait until the price gets in. I set set a um, uh, sell order as well. So this is basically like guidance. There's no real money involved here, but this is how real investments work. So this is how I would trade if I was going to trade Bitcoin today. With a thousand dollars, I'll set oh I'll set my price, set my Bitcoin price. Sorry, BTC price. Same thing here. Sorry, just have to adjust the sheets. I did my analysis on Ethereum Classic earlier. So, same thing here. So, I'll set my Bitcoin price for trade. I'll set my Bitcoin price for a swing trade around my buy order around sixteen, sixteen thousand dollars. It could be sixteen two hundred, sixteen one because sometimes Bitcoin doesn't really drop to these exact figures. It drops to like sixteen thousand one hundred and twenty, one hundred and forty. So anything around sixteen thousand or anything around between sixteen thousand and seventeen thousand five hundred is what I'll set my price at. I really want to go low because if I'm going to wait for a week to sell, at some point this week Bitcoin is going to most likely drop around sixteen thousand. But just to be careful, it's if you want your your buy order to get in early, you could set around seventeen thousand five hundred. Now what I'll do is I'll set a sale order. Once I've bought, once Bitcoin has been bought, I'll wait for the purchase to happen. Once one, I once my system has purchased Bitcoin, what I'll do is I'll now set a sale order around eighteen thousand eight hundred. So what, for sure today Bitcoin is moving around eighteen nine hundred to to nineteen thousand four hundred. But what I'll do is what I'll do in terms of swing trade is I'll set this price today because most likely Bitcoin may drop today, may go higher. I'll set this low price and then wait um, for Bitcoin to be priced. So today, it doesn't matter what day, what kind of day it is. If it's a bad day, Bitcoin is going to drop to around 17,500 or 16,500. If it's a good day, Bitcoin is most likely going to trade, keep on trading around 18,900 and above. And that's why this strategy has three folds. So you have a day strategy where you, you're sure to make some kind of money for that day. And then you have a swing trade strategy where you're sure to also make some money during the week. And then now you're gonna go to a whole strategy. So this is my weekly strategy. So I'll probably have like three wallets that I'll be working with, and then those three wallets I'll be working with will have these amounts, maybe a thousand dollars each, or maybe split up five hundred dollars in some, and then maybe two hundred dollars in the other. But most likely, if I have three thousand dollars to work with, I'm gonna have a thousand dollars in each of those wallets, and then these are the strategies I'm gonna use. So the day trading wallet. Once I get my mark, I'm out for the day. The swing trading mod, um, the swing trade wallet. Once I also make the purchase, I'm going to set my my exit sale price, and then I'm I'm done for that. Now let's we go to the hold hold wallet. So the hold wallet is like one of like the the serious wallets if you want to put it like the, like the mainstay. So if I'm looking at trading Bitcoin and I want to hold it for a while, I'm not going to be looking at today's prices or this week's price. I'm going to look at the range. So if we go back to let's go back to our chart, and I want to show you guys something. This is a very simple move to make. I mean, you don't need to have any kind of TA knowledge. Yeah, there's a risk in trading crypto at any point in time, but this is a very simple move to make. So I won't be looking at Orox today. Orox is, I've done that for the day trading, for the swing trading as well. If I want to make my purchase today, I have to look at Orox because Orox shows me that all Bitcoin is going to be at 18,900. But I think it may drop lower. So I, my prices have set, I've set those prices already. But I want to now go to the chart and then look at Bitcoin for the year basically. Um, I can say Bitcoin for three months. I'm gonna hold for it more than a year maybe, but Bitcoin for three months. Now you're looking at Bitcoin for last month. Bitcoin was around, uh, let's say, the the highest price of Bitcoin for last month was around let's get maybe twenty four thousand or twenty twenty two twenty three thousand. You can see the trend is is dropping. Bitcoin is going lower and lower as as the months go on. Um, this is the bear market, so you're gonna be looking at maybe 24,000 at your peak as your peak i mean bitcoin is very unpredictable so i'm going to go in, if i'm going to the trade going into the trade 
um, today and I want to hold for a while and this is the bear market I have to have like a range so today's Bitcoin price is around eighteen seventeen thousand dollars so my range is gonna be around that maybe eighteen thousand dollars so I have a range in my Excel sheet I'm gonna pull it up but I'm when I when I buy Bitcoin I don't want to set like a high target because if I set like a, a high target that's so high what's gonna happen I have to wait for a longer period of time my target is around maybe 25 percent or 30 percent I'm not here to make a hundred percent the good thing about such small targets is that you most likely get your your results on time most likely achieve what you want to achieve on time so let's go back to the excel sheet and then see where that leaves us in terms of um, actions so if you go back to the excel sheet what that does for us is is basically we want to invest a thousand dollars what that's going to do for us in an excel sheet for holding is basically us setting a buy order around 16 16 500 so i'm going to wait it out maybe a month two weeks three weeks bitcoin is definitely going to drop there's going to be a bad news something's going to happen and that's why when you're investing in, in crypto particularly in crypto it's best to use monies that are not not needed basically use monies you can afford to lose use monies that are not part of your emergency fund or monies that are not kind of um urgent for you um, so basically if I put in a thousand dollars here I'm not going to need this thousand dollars for the next couple of months so if I put in a thousand dollars here I'm going to set my, my purchase price or entry price around sixteen five hundred I'm going to wait for that purchase to happen and then if, if it does happen I'm going to hold I'm going to set a sale price at twenty two five hundred this is a bit conservative yeah Bitcoin may go to twenty five thousand dollars may go up to thirty thousand thirty thousand dollars but um, the thing about trading the crypto market is that if you if you have a plan and if you really work with your plan most like most times you're successful so even if bitcoin goes up to forty thousand dollars i still get to make my 36 percent here which at a thousand dollars is basically 363 dollars for investing a thousand dollars and then if i invest more I, I still get to make some good money as well so i'm going to be working on with a thousand three six three if you take away taxes and all you find out um, it's still some kind of good money no real no normal investment is going to give me that now so i try to be like conservative so this is my entry price it's my sale price so for the three strategies my for today let's say i just woke up this morning i want to invest and i have three thousand dollars i want to go in it doesn't matter to me if there's a bear market or not for the day trade i'm going to check like i said go to oryx and check um kind of like the change for the day and the change for today was around eighteen nine hundred so my entry price is a bit lower than that because bitcoin may drop most times it drops lower than the entry you find when you wake up in the morning so entry point is like 18400 and then my exit point is like 19,400 19, so that's what i'm targeting to do for the day trade this is going to be if i have like an order book open like i said uh, we're going to be making this investment simple i'm going to be doing live trading because it could be confusing if i have like an order book open what will happen is I'll set my 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 purchase price at eighteen thousand four hundred, and then I'll just let it go. Come back to check later to see if, if it's 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 been filled. For my swing trade still at the same level for the week. Bitcoin has been going down seventeen thousand, close to sixteen thousand, and going back up nineteen thousand, going above twenty one thousand. I want to be somewhere somewhere close to the middle. For swing trades, I'm, I'm looking like looking at trading for this week. Any time this week is good, so. I'm gonna just set a price, same amount of money, a thousand dollars, between sixteen hundred and sixteen thousand dollars and seventeen five hundred, basically. So somewhere around, I'm most likely gonna set sixteen five hundred, sixteen four three five, or something like that. I'm not gonna put like an exact round figure because most times the movements tend to avoid round figures. That's what I noticed um, studying the charts. So uh, when I set that price, I'm gonna let it stay. If it gets filled in, let's get said I said sixteen thousand because I'm not in a hurry. I have my thousand dollars already. I just want to make a profit. I'm not in a hurry to make that profit today. I don't want to use the money to. I just want to make profit and then reinvest and then keep making some more money. So set my entry point around sixteen thousand and then my exit point around eighteen thousand eight hundred. Because for sure today Bitcoin has done eighteen thousand eight hundred. So I could get this other filled out. The entry point I'm not so sure it's going to be filled out today, but I could get this other filled out this week. I could most likely sell Bitcoin after getting it filled out sometime this week as well so that's my like my swing trade straight strategy so same thing with the whole strategy so the whole strategy has like a longer term 
view. So I'm looking at three months, maybe six months, one year. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, any time of day I wake up and I want to invest and I want to hold, I look at the levels and I kind of like determine where I want to be. Somewhere around the middle, like I said. So Bitcoin could go to 30,000. Well, that's great. It could also drop below. That's also good. And I mean, that's also good because if it goes lower than 16,500, I'm entering at a good point. And most likely it's going to get back to around 21,000, 22,000 levels at some point in the next two, three months, even, if, even in this bear market. So, but you're looking at exiting at 40,000 or maybe at the speaker at 64,000, 67,000. You're going to be waiting for quite a while. So, I'm just looking at making a 36% 36, 36 profit. So, I'm going to be setting my entry point at 16,500 exit point at 22500 and let's just review so let's say i do set put these monies in i put a thousand dollars in i'm going to be getting basically i'm going to be getting 54 dollars for today if i keep doing that going forward i mean different levels of course i'm going to be making about a thousand dollars a month with my day strategy for swing trade um i'm going to be looking at making for the week 175 dollars maybe once or twice this week so that's not bad at all and then for the whole strategy i'm going to be looking at making well above 300 dollars put this together if you work it out a week i make maybe 300 dollars from swing trade um about 200 dollars for day trade and then my whole strategy is more like a longer term thing maybe like two three months it gets filled out or a month it gets filled out 300 dollars a month so I'm looking at easy, maybe a thousand dollars, a thousand five hundred dollars a month, which is quite good for a three thousand dollar investment. So, and then this this is quite like helpful in terms of your portfolio going forward. So profits from here can go into elsewhere, go into other parts of your portfolio, and then help you make some more money. So just a recap of what we discussed today. So we kind of like looked at what we kind of looked at what bitcoin what you can trade in terms of what you can make in terms of how you can trade bitcoin and how much you can make if you trade bitcoin with three different strategies so what we're looking at is real investment in bitcoin how bitcoin performs we looked at the charts we saw the effects on different categories like the investors and then it helped us to learn lessons we also looked at bitcoin in terms of three strategies holding trading and swing swing trade and now to recap from the charts so basically today's bitcoin movements are between 18,900 and then 19,000 not so much so day trading is going to give it like um, low profits if you trade today because the swing is not so high but it's still good enough and then we looked at making five percent for day trade making around around more than five percent for swing trading and then making about 36 percent for holding so if you like this kind of content thanks for being here please like share subscribe we'll see you on the next one cheers